Hey, Gas Man uh, versus Mez in the Gold League ladder. How's StarCraft treating you today? Decent. That's cool. Blah. Uh, it's I, I like that you're being polite. That's cool. Way to be, dude. Way to be. Um, so the idea of a Thor push, 12 racks, 13 gas, you're going to actually get a little bit later of a gas at 14. Um, so that's going to delay your, your everything. But if we look at when you get your first 100 gas and we subtract maybe the 20 seconds of when you should have gotten your gas, we're going to see that you get 100 gas at 4... Come on. Okay. 4 minutes. So you start your factory right here at 4 minutes and that's perfect. And then as soon as the factory is done, the second it's done, you start an armory. And everything takes 1 minute. It's so easy to figure out the timings, right? 4 minutes, 5 minutes, and then at 6 minutes you start your Thor, and at 7 minutes you start your second Thor, and at 8 minutes you start your third Thor, and then at 9 minutes you have 3 Thors and you push. Right? Really easy to figure out these timings. Um, obviously, uh, 6.30 and 7.30 and 8.30 and I usually push at 8.30 with three Thors, and you're going to be pushing at 9 minutes with three Thors just because you started this gas 20 seconds late and whatever. Uh, but, you know, it's all generally the same. So if we look at what your opponent had at the point when you should have had three Thors and some Hellions, it's going to become obvious uh, what the difference is between that and what really happened. What really happened. If you remember the benchmarks uh, that I normally talk about, right, it's 1,000 at 6 minute, 1,500 at 7, and 2,000 at 8, and 2,500 at 9. So if you say 3 Thors is 1,500, then there's a whole other $1,000 that we have to play with. They're actually 1,250. Um, so you can spend 1,250 on other stuff besides Thors. Uh, the second factory, for example, um, Hellions and Marines, all that kind of stuff. So, uh, yeah, that's the general idea. You want three Thors and $1,250 of other crap, including upgrades and bunkers and whatever else you want to build, uh, by nine minutes. And that is not at all what you're going to get. But I don't know why I'm going at 2x when I could go at 4x. 4x is so much cooler. So remember, we've started the factory at 4, started the armory at 5, it's done at 6, starting the Thor at 6. This is also being a little bit delayed. So er all these delays are adding up. Not going to start the store until uh, 6.50, almost 7 minutes. So you've lost about a minute and 30 seconds right there. And the reason that's so important is because the timing on a quick Banshee Rush is 6.30. So you want your Thor to be done at 6.30. Your, th your Thor is going to finish at 8, and if he comes with a quick Banshee, you'll have nothing but a couple of Marines that don't have any upgrades that he can just kite. Um, also, the timing on a, on a good tank push, actually what he's doing is this tank push. If he had gone with his second push and tried to get there by the time Siege Mode came, he'd be getting there right now and you'd have nothing. So it's really important to try to get that first Thor out by 640. Uh, and just by virtue of getting the first Thor out on time, you get the second and third Thor out much quicker as well. And then, so th it all kind of adds up. It all, it all kind of adds up, baby. So it's five five Marines, Hellion, Thor, uh, and that Thor should be out in time to stop Banshees and stuff, and tank pushes and other other scary things. So he's doing this little tank push, and you're not afraid because you're like, I have Thors. Guess what beats tanks, noob? Um, and you're gonna come down here and beat his face in. Now this engage is a little. Remember, you can repair your Thors, so it's okay if they take a little damage and then walk away. So what you really want to do is leave all your marines uh, like right here and all a couple of SCVs right here and then walk in with a Thor, take some damage from the tanks, walk away and repair it. Walk in, take some damage, walk away and repair it. And each time you try to get three shots off and three shots is enough to kill a tank. Um, and also hopefully you bait his marines into coming up and attacking you. Anyway, it's nine minutes. I said we should have three Thors at nine minutes. We only have two. I said we should have $2,750 worth of army. We have... Uh, this is 300. So yeah, you're right on benchmark. So you have enough stuff. It's just that it most it's not Thors. It's it's Marines and Hellions, and that's fine. I'm okay with that. I don't mind. So see how long it's taking this this second Thor to even get in range to do anything. That's the problem with this engage. You really gotta. I like to not have the SCVs in the engage. 
come in with the Hellions and Thors, fight, and then retreat, and then have the SCVs uh, repair you up here after you retreated. Because if the Hel if the SCVs are repairing during the fight, they just mess it up so that this Thor doesn't even get into range to do anything. Really annoying. Um, so losing that Thor was completely unnecessary because Thors have a million zillion health and can retreat and be repaired. But you still easily mop this up and come out ahead on damage done. But because you've pulled all these workers, you've only got uh, 19 workers back home repairing. So you're going to fall behind from this moment on in this game. 500 income against 800. It's kind of kind of spooky. And now you're going to push across the field. But you're pushing across the field. Uh, actually, you're not going to push across the field. You're going to wait for some more Thors. Now, I've said a lot of times, Thors are a surprise I win. Right? You can't wait until three minutes after he's had a fight with your Thors and then go across the field and expect him not to be prepared. So uh, if you had pushed at nine minutes, he had five tanks and a smattering of marines. Three Thors can easily take that, as you proved during this fight. So I think it would have gone a lot better if you pushed at a reasonable time. But having all these workers not not mining for so long is, is just a really big deal. Man, it's a really big deal. You're, you're kind of all in at this point, but you're sitting in midfield all in. And nobody likes someone who's sitting at midfield all in. <laughs> uh, it's going to take you forever to get there, and when you get there... Let's see. So right now we're looking for $4,500 in army, and you only have 33 So yeah, I mean you're a thousand two hundred dollars behind benchmark now and that's because you pulled those workers so long ago and this whole time they haven't been mining plus you've spent some money on turrets that I think is a little weird I mean someone who does a tank push might come with one banshee but it's unlikely that he's gonna come with a cloaked banshee I mean tanks are so gas heavy have you ever done a marine tank push it uses all your gas just to get like one viking and tanks with siege mode it's kind of uncommon to do an early tank push with a ban cloak banshee follow up, you know. Anyway, um, so yeah, your army is very small at this point and getting smaller as time goes on, smaller relative to what we wish it was. And now is the time for the engage. So we got this question. Okay, you got your third Thor walking across the field, but you decide not to wait for it. So here's the question: Can two Thors and six Hellions? beat three tanks. Two Thors can easily beat three tanks in an, in an appropriate engage. Um, and three Marauders and four Marines in a bunker. And I would say that the answer is the Thor side will win, but it will be close enough that it might not be worth the risk. But since you're all in at this point, uh, you know, it's probably the right move to, to try it anyway. So what you would really want to do is scan here this area so that you can see these tanks I mean you just wanna uh, for, first of all you don't know that those tanks are there obviously so you would take your Thor's SCVs stop falling put your SCVs here your Hellions here and take a Hellion actually that's what I would do is run up to the ramp of the Hellion because Hellions are so fast that as soon as the tank shoots at him you can just say run away and he won't get killed um, so anyway you'd come up here right there your Hellion would get shot by a tank and it would show you where the tank is. It'd show you a tank here and a tank there and you'd go, oh, okay. And then you scan here, walk up with your only your Thors, uh, two Thors, kill one tank, and it, after your, uh, the, the lead Thor has been hit by the siege tanks like two or three times, even if he hasn't gotten a shot off yet, you just tell him to walk back over here where the SCVs are waiting to repair him. Uh, then he'll get repaired up. The second Thor will kill a tank, maybe two tanks, and then you can walk away and repair him, and then you do it again and kill the third tank, and, you know, that kind of thing. So, Thors really want to shoot tanks. Tanks really don't want to be shot by Thors. That's how the dynamic works. Um, I mean, I don't, I don't even know why you're wondering how you lost this engagement. This engagement was terrible. Uh, you've got all your dudes in a big pile, and the siege tanks are shooting them. And so... Th this is the thing. Be patient with Thors. Because they have so much health and can be repaired, all you have to do is walk a little bit away and they go back to full health. So you get an instant do-over in any engagement you don't like. So as soon as you get hit by those tanks, walk away and just wait for them to be repaired and then think about it a little bit and come back up, you know? Um, so you, you, you reacted like you had an infantry force, like you had a must-attack-right-now force. 
Um, so even uh, right even after you, you were like, oh, tanks are shooting me, but they're close by, maybe I should go kill them. You kill these tanks. Okay, and now you've lost more than you've gained, and bad things are happening. You see some marauders, some vikings, and another tank in a bunker. Regardless of what you see, whether even you're quick enough to notice that what's going on, the tanks are dead. Walk over here and repair, and figure out if you want to go in again, you know? So... You got low health Thors just kind of walking slowly around and see if you can get it. No, that's that's wrong. That's wrong. So ramps are a big problem. You always, if there's a bunker at the top of ramps, if there's tanks at the top of ramps, you always want to get an idea of what's close enough to the ramp to be killed from the low ground. Kill everything that you can from the low ground. Walk away, repair, and then decide whether you want to try again. But never walk up the bunker, uh, not never walk up the ramp unless you can make it completely safe before you do it, or unless you have like six Thors against five Marauders or something ridiculous like that. Because when you get on a ramp, as you said in one of your own uh, YouTube videos, uh, Thors can't be repaired on ramps, really. Uh, they take up the whole ramp, and then the SCVs, you can only fit like two or three SCVs repairing them from behind, and they get a little confused and just bad things happen on ramps. So I think, uh, you know, you walked up, tanks started shooting you, you got an adrenaline rush, and you were like, maybe I can win the whole game, blah, 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 you know? And you really got to take it easy, man, because Thor's, their big strength is that they can be repaired, and repairing means walking away and taking a breath. And then coming back at full health. It's kind of like burrowed roach, you know? Uh, do some damage, burrow, heal up, do some more damage, burrow, heal up, do some more damage. You know, your, your goal is to never lose a Thor, never lose a single Thor. And that requires patience and not being all crazy like this. So, uh, yeah. Get your first Thor out earlier or you're going to take some serious damage to, to Banshees and stuff. Get your uh, third Thor and ready to push at, at 9 minutes rather than 10 minutes. Um, and when you engage with Thors, I know it's, uh, I, I do this a lot too, you just tell all your guys to follow your Thors because they're the slowest guys, and you think, you don't know that his dudes are there, and you think you're just going to walk across the field, and so that's the best position to walk across the field in, and that's true, but the second you get hit, you walk down here, and you're like, alright, everybody just follow the Thors, and he shoots at you with a tank, uh, let's see where your camera is. So this is why. You didn't you didn't do this, it just happened because you weren't looking. Alright, and now you look down and it's too late, the engagement has already happened, and so there's nothing you can do about it. So I guess I, I can't really give you advice on what to do in a situation where you didn't even notice that you were going to be fighting. But if you were to notice... <laughs> this is why uh, scouting before a push is so important. Just take one marine, or w and it's much easier with one hellion. In, in most cases I don't have a hellion, but in this case you're going to have a hellion. Take that Hellion, send it over to your to your opponent's front. Find out what there is between here and there before you send your whole army. Because you never want your whole army to get blindsided by an attack. Like, that's that's the easiest way to lose a game. Um, so yeah, scout, scout up in front. And then you would have noticed the tanks. You might have lost a Marine or a Hellion, but you could have engaged this intelligently and on purpose while watching instead of kind of macroing and, and a moving while you macro and then losing them when you weren't even looking at them. So yeah, those are the things that you could have done better. Um but it's important to remember that the Thor push it's not like meant to be a one hundred percent victory thing. Sometimes people are gonna have a bunch of marauders and bunkers with siege tanks behind them and you just gotta give up on it and say, Oh you know, Thors are good. Blue flame hellions are good. He doesn't have an expo. I don't have an expo. I'm not behind. I'm just going to go home and, you know, macro up. What makes it an all-in is that you brought this many SCVs. And uh, that's really risky. Because now if the Thor push goes badly, you lose the whole game. And now if he has Blue Flame Hellions, you're just going to lose all those SCVs anyway. And, you know, it reduces the size of the army you eventually get here with because you're not mining with as many people. Uh, so, yeah, it's just an awful lot of SCVs to, to, to commit with. I would like more three or four SCVs. They don't get in the way as much, much cooler. Uh, and then decide once you've seen what's at his choke whether you need more SCVs, because SCVs walk really quick, so you can get them all the way across the map in, like, one second. Um, so, yeah, start off with just a couple SCVs, 
scout with your Hellion. If your Hellion sees practically nothing, then sure, pull more SCVs and go try to win. Especially what you want to be running into is a, is a command center with no bunker here. Like if he has a bunker here and a command center here and nothing really defending this area, that'd be cool to pull SCVs with. But never pull a bunch of SCVs blind because what if you run into something that stops you and now you're just completely doomed. Um, yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Mm-hmm. Uh, the transition, by the way, as you seem to know because you're doing it, uh, you come with these Thors, see if you can win, and if you can't, throw down Siege Tanks in Siege Mode, and then just defend while you get your Expo. Uh, so you're doing that, you obviously know the right answer to I didn't win with my Thor push, but I, I think you lost kind of 4400 to 1800 and there's no real chance from here. So he just kind of walks across the field and kills you. I thumbs down this map because it's particularly bad for early game damage. It's a macro map because you can so easily defend this natural that you really have to wait until everybody has a third up before you can do any real damage unless somebody makes a huge mistake. Uh, so I think the right move on this map would not to be to just not do a Thor opening. Uh, go for a fast expand and just sit back defensively and defend it and then go for a much later standard game. Um, and if you're not comfortable with standard games and you really like things like Stamomama and Thor pushes and uh, Siege Tank pushes against Zerg and the, the types of things that I like, thumbs this map down because it is way too easy to defend your, your natural on this map. Uh, anyway, good luck with that.